Golly. All right, good to see all of our friends from the house, and thank you for seeing uh, or hearing Senate bills. Nice change. I'd like to call in our pro tem, even though I didn't give him any uh, any notice for his discernment here. If you'd give us uh, lead us in thank prayer. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and, and my, may I might also add that if you got to be warned that you're going to be asked to pray, you need to be praying more. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we just ask that you uh, that you lead us and guide us. Give us uh, wisdom and judgment and discernment as we make decisions, uh, because we know that our decisions affect so many millions of other Georgians. We heard a sermon just a few days ago about walking through the valley, walking through the valley of the shadow of death, and we all walk through the valley at, at times, Lord. But we know that you are with us, and we ask for your continued grace and mercy. It's in your holy and precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Senator. And we're going to go first into standing committee with uh, uh, SR 190, Senator Brass. That's uh, Brass Pro Shop, <laughs> Doctor. You want me over there, Mr. Chairman? You, you can do it right there, whatever your ple pleasure is. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Simple resolution urging Congress to take a look at their copyright laws. You always need All right, what did you say? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. It's an urging resolution to Congress for them to review their copyright laws. Okay, and I know how important that is, and thank you for that. And we know how seriously they take our urging resolutions. I know. Well, we all have them. All right, any questions for the author? All right, thanks. I, it could have been worse, and I didn't. All right. Uh, need a motion? Got a Dean Burke and a John Albers. Any questions? All in favor say aye. aye. All right. Pass it on. All right, Senator Butch Miller from uh, Gainesville, Senate Resolution 201. Can we have a, a speaker or two on that? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Senate Resolution 201 is, is a resolution uh, commending SK Innovation for a, uh, investment and further development in Georgia and Georgia jobs. And uh, I will we'll close, Mr. Chairman, if you don't mind. I'll let me. Okay. All right. Uh, I think we have, is it Elmer Sansel going to be, uh, or Sam Owens? Gentlemen, come on in. Line them up. I'll take them if you're outside. one by one. Come in the center door, like now. Da 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 da. Don't wake him up. Da 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 da. There he is. There he is. Our attorney, former attorney general, Sam Owens. Glad to have you, Mr. Owens. Good morning. Thank you very much for letting me speak. I greatly appreciate it, Chairman. Uh, appreciate the opportunity. I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to stand. Yeah, you're you're at the right place. Okay. And uh, we're social distance, so you can pull your mask out if you want. Guy, I was hoping you were going to treat me to dinner. I'm just kidding, just kidding. Well, thank you. I mean, I, I support you in those ways, but you know, I, 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 okay, I'll so proceed on. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm I'm here today to talk about the resolution, and I greatly appreciate the. Uh, the time uh, that we have spent on this issue. Uh, just for the sake of clarity, I represent <coughs> LG. Uh, in a legal capacity, I'm involved in the litigation in Washington, D.C., involving the United States International Trade Commission, which, among other things, deals with the Tariff Act of 1930. The state of Georgia, that being Governor Deal and Georgia Economic Development, initiated discussions with SK which led to a project announcement in 2018. And then shortly after Governor Kemp took office, there was a signed project development agreement and a groundbreaking, Sorry. this being the beginning of 2019. We all support the jobs. We all want the plant to be successful. Let me just say that at the beginning. But unbeknownst to the state of Georgia, at the same time things were moving forward in Commerce, Georgia, lawsuits were filed in Delaware Federal Court and the United States International Trade Commission alleging that SK violated Section 337 of the Tariff Act by selling and importing certain batteries, battery cells, et cetera, that were produced using trade secrets misappropriated from LG. An administrative law judge a year later 
made a decision February 2020 and found SK in default as a result as a result of its widespread and intentional destruction of documents. The full United States International Trade Commission ruled last month, February 10, 2021, that SK was in default and issued a limited exclusion order providing relief for VW and Ford of two and four years respectively, allowing the plant to open. The commission ruled that the destruction of evidence was extraordinary, ordered at a high level, and showed a callous disregard to ascertain the scope of the, destruct of the destruction after the commencement of commission proceedings. In other words, the spoliation continued even when the federal proceedings had been initiated. The commission held that SK acted in bad faith and LG had been prejudiced and that no lesser alternative sanctions would provide adequate redress. One document in particular that was discovered stated, and I quote, the documents that you took from the L company, meaning my client LG, ordered them to hide or destroy those documents and please don't save this email. The ITC went on to say that the corporate culture of collecting and thereafter destroying records was rampant, well known, and condoned at SK. It is presumed that the destroyed documents included files of LG applicants to SK, LG's cost sourcing and pricing, and SK's use and benefit from approximately 22 trade secrets. While we were waiting on the ITC decision, uh, Green hey, uh, oh Sam, are you representing the Lieutenant Governor? You keep saying LG, so the, I wasn't the, sure. The, the company is LG. <laughs> just, okay, just, just clarifying like, that. The, I'm sorry. The company is LG, and actually, as of a couple months ago, it's LGES, if okay. that That's clears it a little here. bit. I got so, that. That's pretty so, funny right there. Thank you. Anyway, thank you. Going. So w while we were waiting on the decision that was issued in February, Korean nationals were carted Hartsfield-Jackson Airport by Customs and Border Patrol with Korean nationals holding fake employment letters. Other Korean nationals were found working at the plant. Additionally, through a, a, an I-team investigation, they found individuals from Micronesia working at the plant rather than local labor. This led then Congressman Doug Collins to demand that the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement and Customs and Border Patrol fully investigate the alleged ongoing illegal scheme by SK. Elsewhere in the SK corporate fami family in 2018, SKI subsidiary SK Energy pled guilty to federal criminal antitrust violations and settled civil antitrust and false claims act charges in connection with decade-long bid ribbing bid rigging of D Department of Defense fuel supply contracts. And in June 2020, SK Engineering Construction pled guilty to wire fraud in the Western District of Tennessee after it paid millions of dollars to secure contracts with the Army and submitted false claims to conceal those illicit payments. SK ENC also withheld and destroyed documents similar to this case attempted to persuade a witness not to cooperate and failed to discipline any responsible employees. The company, as a result, is now obligated to cooperate with the Department of Justice in the investigation of any criminal matter. All these recent examples reflect actions of a company that has intentionally lied and deliberately misled. Hey, uh, hey, let's uh, let the speaker speak, even though he's uh, Lindsay tipping the bill, but it's okay. Keep going. Thank you. I know that's your buddy, but I can't help you. All these recent examples reflect a company that has intentionally lied and deliberately misled Georgia and our federal government in order to gain a competitive advantage. Now they want the Georgia General Assembly to believe that a presidential veto of the ITC decision is necessary to save Georgia jobs. That is not true. In fact, in regulatory filings filed in South Korea, SKI stated that jobs would stay. LG Energy Solutions CEO recently stated that numerous automobile manufacturers and electric battery manufacturers are interested and would be interested in the Commerce site, and also stated that LG ES is interested in finding a site in Georgia to build electric batteries. Georgia is, in fact, very well situated to be a national leader in the electric battery business. 
Our state prides itself for being very pro-business, and our governors and the Georgia Department of Economic Development deserve much praise. But I ask you, if a company co sought to come to our state and create jobs, but was found by a federal agency to have stolen intellectual property from Caterpillar, Mohawk, Shaw, CSX, Bluebird, Southwire, International Paper, Frito-Lay, Fiserv, Coyo Bearings, Yamaha, or Coca-Cola, would we be encouraging the legislature to commend them for their investment in our state and call upon the president to overturn the federal ruling? What are the long-term effects of a state supporting a company that has been found to have misappropriated state, excuse me, misappropriated trade secrets and obstructed justice? Georgia, Jackson County, and Commerce are all victims of their theft. We should not condone their improper actions. Georgia needs to value the rule of law and the protection of IP. In summary, Chairman, we have no problem with the resolution that commends SK for their investment in the state. But when the resolution starts talking about the, or, or either intentionally or otherwise disregarding the decision of a U.S. federal agency and encouraging a federal, excuse me, encouraging the president to veto the decision, that's where we have the problem. No one in Georgia should be supporting a business that has stolen IP. I thank you for your generous uh, time, Chairman. Thank you, uh, Sam. Any questions? I hear none. Oh, you got one? All right. Uh, real, real quickly, I won't keep it but a moment. So you were saying all these foundings, and these foundings were where? Well, the foundings, the, uh, the 22 misappropriated trade secrets are run by a United States federal agency and called the United States International Trade Commission. And is that, if you look, if I Google the ITC, what will I find? How will it be defined? A it's quasi, a, a quasi court. Is that correct? Is that, it's, is a com that? it's a commission whose members are appointed. That's correct. And, the, and then there is a federal appeal to the circuit court. That's correct. So let's, let's be clear that has not been found, no one has been found guilty of anything in a federal court. It's, yeah. it's, well, it's true that there was a finding that they misappropriated trade secrets. The word guilty would not be an appropriate in word a, to use. Yeah. In a quasi court, they were found is under appeal. And a quasi-court is under appeal. I just want to be clear about that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, Senator Butler, you got a question? Um, Here we go. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My question would be, has any any um, other documents, uh, documentation been sent to the president outside of this resolution? My, my, I think you're directing that question to me. Yes, there have been numerous uh, uh, communications with our United States senators and encourage them to communicate with the president. I don't know if they have or not. The senators, what about the representatives? Have they? I don't have any uh, uh, knowledge of that. Okay. I would ask for the committee's uh, favorable uh, consideration of this resolution. Thank you. Anyway, thank you, Sam. Appreciate thank it. You. And uh, let me ask you this. Uh, who? Senator Parent, I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, you got a question? Yeah. What, what are you, number nine, I think? Number nine. All right, go. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. Owens. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Quick question. I've read in some documentation that there may be a settlement afoot that would remove any question of issues with the investment in Georgia. So by, by definition, LG has constantly gone up to SK. I think you have to go to, I, 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 yeah, don't worry about me. Just talk on the mic. Yeah. LG has constantly gone up to SK. S LG has constantly gone up to SK and encouraged discussions to settle the dispute over the uh, stolen IP. To date, uh, SK has not been interested in those discussions. So they're okay. pursuing the presidential veto route. I'm not sure who was directed to, sir. Oh, that was directed to you. Oh. If so the they, they, so they, they are, they, they, so I, I'm really not comfortable describing their uh, actions, but it seems to be a scorched earth. On the one hand, they're requesting the president veto the ITC decision. On the other hand, they're threatening to leave the state of Georgia, even though they just told the Korean version of SEC they were going to be staying in the state of Georgia. So I think it's an any and all effort to get a win from a loss by a federal agency. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Sam. Uh, Senator Miller, I have one question. 
Is your uh, resolution to commend uh, SK for the 2,600 jo jobs, 2,600 jobs confirmed here in Georgia versus going to Ohio with this? That, that's correct. Also, isn't it true that those jobs could likely go up to 6,000 6, jobs here in Georgia? And isn't it true? <laughs> All right. Bring in security. Get, get that guy out of here. So, but, but that's what your amendment's for. You're not, com you're not commending them or whatever on their, on their uh, other activities, just their Georgia activities. Just the jobs in Georgia is what I'm trying to protect. That's it. That's it. Okay, well, I, d I was confused. And, and let me further add that over time, yeah, uh, over, over time, if this continues in the uh, circumstance of job growth, we could be producing a quarter of all the batteries, or maybe a third of all the batteries produced in the entire United States. And let me thank you for that. Are you through? Thank I'm you. Through. All right. We're going on for a vote here. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, everybody. Any other questions? Moving on. Nita, um, uh, what, what's the pleasure of the committee? So moved for uh, by, uh, is my tractor Sexy Lee Anderson? <laughs> Need a second from uh, Senator Walker. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. All right. We got one no, two no's. All right, we got two. All right, good deal. All right, thank you, Sam. Have a good day. We're uh, moving on from the uh, standing committee to the calendar committee. Here we go. All right, uh, we got several bills to consider. Uh, about about uh, 20 something, I believe, 24. House Bill 44, Senator, uh, excuse me, uh, Cantrell from the 22nd, Wes from the largest church I've ever been to, uh, for Woodstock First Baptist Church. You still go there? He, he's the head preacher. You preach there. He's the preacher there. All right. I don't just go there. I, uh, I actually attend. I uh, actually uh, work look, there. Look, if you start bouncing on your toes, we know to get in the amen corner. <laughs> well, sir, I want to play a little walk-up music. I wonder where that came from. Okay, all right, I got you. That's good. We got the gist of that, and you know right, that was all. That's all I you got. You know, when when uh, uh, Armageddon comes, there are going to be three things left. They're going to be share, because she's always coming back, <laughs> and they're going to be roaches, because you can't get rid of them, and Marshall Guest, because he survived three speakers and many other things. So that's just, very funny. I brought you another small prop, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, there for your. Enjoyment. Oh, Listen, uh, HB 44 is off, simply huh? the, uh, we subbed it in committee to reflect uh, SB 100, which is already passed out of this August committee and passed out of the Senate floor. So I bring you the substitute to HB 44 as substituted by committee. All right. Give me, all right. Uh, any questions? Uh, you're, you're in a photo opportunity, so. <laughs> all right. All right, please. Go ahead, Senator. With uh, Mr. Chairman. His clock is could use one of those SK batteries, I think. Ah. The time it definitely could. And is it, it definitely could. Is it uh, it's a daylight dead. saving time? Or? <laughs> I don't know what that one is. It it's not even close to right. It's, uh, it, it has a battery, but it's Energizer Bunny, and he died. So <laughs> yeah. it's all good. Yeah, you're not all right. Kidding. All Thank, right. You. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, House Bill 114 by Buzz. Representative Reed. Sorry, I can't get over it. I know. I, know. I love it. I, I love it, Mr. Chairman. Um, I love it when you tell that story. I, you know, he is the uh, former mascot for Georgia Tech. That's right. Buzz. If you only could remember my real first name, then I would really feel special. But uh, uh, Bert, go ahead. Okay. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman of the Committee. House Bill 114 is a very simple bill. It increases the tax credit for, pa for persons who adopt foster children from $2,000 to $6,000 for five years, and then after five years, it would revert back to $2,000. All right. Good bill. And I also, can I? Yes, please go I, ahead. I have House Bill 271, which is a, um, a bill for the private ambulance service. This would put create parity with private ambulances, with hospital ambulances and public ambulances so that they can pay into the D DCH fund and draw more money down from the federal government. Yeah, any questions? And let me thank you for your work and the governor's work on foster uh, parents. Thank you. I mean, we thank need to do Mr. everything we can to lift those folks up and take care of the kids that need love. Thank you. And so I, thank you. I yeah. also have 511, uh, but I'm going to. Wait, gonna, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Uh, 
Now, Cinder Parent, that was pretty good stuff, and you didn't give me a wink or a girl, boy, anything. So, all right, go ahead, please proceed. Then uh, five eleven, I'm going to come ask for tomorrow um, because we we're going to work with our young our young protege and mentor Senator Dixon over the weekend to get him ready on yeah a, you on need a to ask for it. you need to ask for it right now though okay well I'm going to ask for House Bill five eleven right now which is the dedicated fee enabling legislation that uh, that pairs up with the constitutional amendment number one that the state voted almost 82 percent in favor of that will mandate that less than one percent of our budget the dedicated fees go to the actual fees that they are intended to okay any questions thank you thank you very much thank you mr chairman thank you very much all right uh, house bill 142 124 oh i missed that one uh, and Senator, Representative Williams here, he's been here every time, and let's move on if he's not. He don't have to give that again. He is one of the last people to let you down. Have you ever heard that before? Uh, House Bill 149, uh, I'll give him a pass too. He's been here every meeting as well. And House Bill 150, he's told us about that before. Do you agree with that, Senator uh, Kennedy? Yes, sir. All right, good deal. You're all roommates, aren't you? Yes, sir. All right, going nowhere with that. Uh, Representative Weedauer, and he's been here before, but come on up and give us uh, highlights on House Bill 153. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 153 is a consumer protection bill. All right, and thank you so much. All That's right. a great bill. Is it, you got any more on here? Yes, sir. Uh, All right, give me that one. 355 is a carbon sequestration bill for the Georgia Forestry Commission. Okay, any questions with any of those? I mean, Representative Weedauer has been here a couple of times, so I'm just trying to hurry him through it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're excused. House Bill 161, uh, Jan Tankersley, from over there close to Savannah. Former County Commissioner, does a great job in the House for everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, committee members. Uh, I'm here today to present House Bill 161. It is a Department of Community bill, and it's only relevant to downtown development authorities. It did pass out of the House last year with no opposition at all, and it was laid to rest over here in the Senate due to COVID. But while DDAs can go uh, inactive right now, they cannot be dissolved. And downtown development authorities are the only authorities that require uh, perpetual existence. Even though they're inactive, they still have to submit a re an annual report. So uh, this bill, this legislation, is just going to remove six words on your copy of the bill, it's line 15, each authority shall have perpetual existence. So if you just strike this sentence, uh, the bill will allow these uh, authorities to be legally dissolved. And I would, they would want you to know GMA supports this bill, and I respectfully ask for your favorable consideration. All right, any questions for the author? Thank you very much. Thank you. House Bill 246, Representative Watson. Did I miss that one, too? I'm sorry. Representative Hawkins, come on up. And uh, you, former Senator Hawkins. And uh, who took your place? Uh, what's his name? Yeah, Puddin' Tane. <laughs> Man on the beautiful Browns Bridge Road. What, did you jump uh, of from course, there one day? Senator Butch Miller. All right, continue on. Let's Home see. of Gainesville. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I bring you 234. Uh, this is a continuation of this prize billing. You know, last year Georgia passed one of the most comprehensive bills in the nation. Uh, following in December, the feds passed a no surprise, no surprise billing that was in the Federal Omnibus Act. Neither one of these pieces of legislation address self-funded plans, which is protected by the ERISA Act. States are not allowed to uh, intercede or uh, uh, govern those who are insurance commissioners, but it, but the Risk Act does not prevent states from providing protection for those patients through an opt-in plan, and that's what this bill is. Uh, four other states have done this. This allows employers to opt in to the plan, allowing their patients or their employees to be covered by uh, the the uh, arbitration portion of the no surprise billing. Uh, that's very important. Probably 60% of the employees of this state have uh, the self-insured plans. So this would allow by an opt-in those patients to be covered. All right, any questions for the author? Thanks, uh, sir. Oh, one other thing. This is going to be upon the signature of the governor. Okay. And it's important for us to get this in before the feds 
uh, possibly act on this. They have stated in their legislation that they will not preempt our uh, bill that we passed last year. Ah, uh, you just slit, slit so, your throat on that one. So, All right, yes, thank, question. Uh, just a comment, I've, I've noticed over the years that uh, Senator Hawkins brings timely and uh, pertinent uh, legislation. Thank you for bringing this one. Thank Wait, you. Is he, thank you. Is he thank threatening to run against you again? Is that why you've been nice? No, sir. You <laughs> notice I called him Senator Hawkins. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. Moving on. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, Representative Lumpston. I didn't. I missed it. I'm not going to in order. Afternoon, thank Mr. Chairman. George from. Yes, sir. Members of the committee, I bring to you House Bill 410 on the yellow page, six up on the back page. This bill. Uh, comes as a request uh, from the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. It's a department bill. The bill does not change anything about law. It simply moves the responsibility for regulating bingo from the GBI to the Secretary of State's office. Uh, the GBI, as you well know, is a law enforcement organization that's tasked with criminal investigations and prosecutions as their primary mission. Secretary of State's role is broad and is largely regulatory. By transferring this responsibility, it will free up valuable investigative manpower for the GBI, let these highly trained investigators use their skills in investigating murders, drugs, and human trafficking. All right, any questions? Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. You got any others? That's it? Not right. yet. They're coming. Okay. Uh, House Bill 246, Representative Watson. Now, you've been here before, and thank you. And again, let, let me tell everybody, if you've been here once, you don't have to come back again. But my theory is if I have a bill still on here, I'd be coming in until they got tired of me. And also, we're different from the House. And I know that's a big surprise to you, but all these members of the committee are the ones who choose your bill. Not me. I just make it available. So work the committee. Thank you, Representative Watson. Would you please proceed? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this is uh, 246. We're raising the uh, the cost to replace your uh, lost license. And uh, if you need a limited driving license permit, we're raising the cost of that as well to meet the cost. And, of the it, state. and I was about to say the, the cost justification is it costs more for to reproduce yes, these than we're charging for. That's correct. All right. We can at Milner Martin Honda. <laughs> All right, are there any other questions? All right, thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman, yeah, members of the committee. Got a color copier. All right, House Bill 268, uh, Werkhauser, are you here? He's been here before. All right, moving on. All right, go to the next page. Uh, House Bill 292, uh, Representative Williams, 148th. I think we're about tired of harassing you a little bit. Let's give him a break. Yeah, we, we may give you a break today. All right. Thank you. Thank give you, it Mr. to Chairman. us quickly. Yes, sir. House Bill 292. This was on the Board of Equalization. This was reducing the time. And look, thank you so much. That's outstanding. Any questions for the author? All right. I also, had, I also had one more. Two, I tell us. 205. It, it came out of the Insurance Committee yesterday. Another it's, great committee meeting. I stood with Isn't Travel it? Insurance, and it passed yeah, 100%. Outstanding. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate you being here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, House Bill 362. Representative Rhodes. Hey, are, did I miss somebody? Okay, we'll come back to you. Are you one of them Athens kind of guys? You hey, just went to school there, didn't close you? Close by, yeah, I'm not, not pretty close. And do you know uh, uh, Curry Smart? A little bit. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, You're doing Mr. all right, Mr. Chairman. I'm doing okay, provided he wins the big games. Okay. Absolutely. I, I, <laughs> I've told him that before. All right. Promise. Yes, sir. House Bill 362. This is our DNR Department Bill. It's a great bill, Mr. Chairman. All right, uh, is uh, Commissioner Fort? Absolutely. All right, what does it do real quick? I can't remember. Yeah. Oh, you weren't here. That's right. Yeah. You, you, you want me to tell you? It does five things. It codifies the rules and regs passed by the DNR board. All right, that's good. Thank okay. you so much. Is All there right. any questions for the author? <laughs> Outstanding. Thank you. All right, I missed one. House Bill 3, uh, excuse me, uh, I need order here. Huh? I was a leprechaun. Would you come forward? <laughs> the man in the green jacket. <laughs> You're, you're uh, dressed appropriately. <laughs> well, what? I don't know. <laughs> He's green. I, I had a feeling I was going to be before you. you should, look, I'm sorry, but the, the vice chair said I should have brought you up forward hey, quicker. You know, I uh, thank you for allowing I, me Hey, I like my terrible. I mean, y'all just laughing because it's silly. It's not National Swedish Day. <laughs> Am I talking sweet? Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I mean, I'm not the most culturally diverse. Yeah, but hold it. Let me get this straight. All right. You know, if I was doing Irish and I'm just doing a terrible accent, and I talked about Lucky Charms, somebody would say. 
Yeah. They're magically delicious. <laughs> yeah, so was that a little better? Better. better. Uh, no more questions for you. Okay. All right, give it to me. All right, 364, all that does is uh, when you want to become a uh, licensed security guard by Secretary of State's office, if you're post certified, you don't have to send in the fingerprints because you've already been fingerprinted by post. Uh -huh. uh, also, if you want to go to work as a private security guard, you can go to work for that company if you're post certified and have 60 days to uh, apply and get your license through Secretary of State's office. Yeah. It streamlines well, the process. Let me ask you, though, an important question. Senator Walker is interested in knowing where you buy a green jacket like that. Uh, you can buy them at Sewell's right there in, uh, in, in Bremen, I believe. Yeah. Bremen? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm a Gordon Lee boy. I'd be fighting country. Yeah. Dublin. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Absolutely. See, in, in my chosen profession, I can't wear bright colors like this, so I have to use that. To What's your, oh, you're, you're an undertaker. I'm an undertaker, you? yes. Okay. All right, I'll use that old joke. On, yes, sir, Senator uh, Walker. I thought all along you were doing Lawrence Welk imitations. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. I'm sorry. I I'm trying not to laugh, Mr. Yeah, Chairman. yeah. Now, uh, Dublin, Georgia, isn't that the fastest growing city in uh, Georgia? It's Dublin every day. Uh, I'm glad you're learning that joke. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, where am I? Uh, House Bill 336, uh, Representative Corbett, and I apologize for keeping you waiting, Representative. Wait, wait a minute, what's going on here? <laughs> Somebody call the security. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes. House Bill 336, uh, we talked about it yesterday. It's just updating the uh, Hemp Farming Act. Uh, okay, that's a great, Bill. Who's the Senate sponsor? Uh, I, I believe Chairman Moss right, is going to be right. that. He's, I believe. No, it is not. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. All right, House Bill 374, Representative Gaines, one of them Athens boys over there. Do you know him? Senator Cowser. I've met him a full time or two. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. House Bill 374 just ensures any multi-county water and sewer, sewer authority sales tax exempt like any single county authority. Now, you haven't stowed any Senate bills this year yet, have you? I have not. That'd be wise to stay away from them, but anyway. <laughs> he took mine last year. But he did ask me, and I let him have it because Senator Cowser said you're a fine fella. Well, thank you. All right. <laughs> Any questions? That was back when you and Senator Cowser were getting along. I, I love Senator Cowser. <laughs> we're back. I love Senator Cowser. We, we're back. We're back. Uh-oh, he just. All right. Uh, thank you, thank Representative you, Gaines. Waking up, so hard. <laughs> Reunited. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Give me security for uh, Senator Miller. All right. Three, uh, House Bill 395. Representative Belton, he's ready to go when you are. He's a Delta pilot. We love to fly in and shows. Uh, in, in honor of... Uh, St. Patrick's Day, I have a very green bill, which is the uh, Pentagon's request for House Bill 395 for a uh, compact for counselors. And whenever I think about the, uh, the, the military, I think about the, 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 the fact that we have uh, St. Patrick's Day, of course, witness to the, uh, the people of Ireland with the shamrock, with the three uh, leaves of the shamrock. That's why we have three compact bills here today, 268, 34, and 395. Whenever I think about the um, green, I, I was in the military, flying my C-17 Globemaster III. I always had a green uniform uh, uh, on. Globemaster III? Globemaster III. Well, Globemaster III? Globemaster III. I've never heard of that before. And uh, whenever I wore my green uh, flight suit, I always thought that my very favorite shade of green, which, of course, is the linden tree. Uh-huh. Shades of uh -huh. green, yes. So that's you know, three excellent green bills for St. Patrick's Day. All right. Mr. Good Chairman. Day. Any questions or none, but thank you for coming. Oh, Dugan, I'm sorry. We have a question from the majority leader. What's his name? <laughs> he, he let me have one more question. I you probably. said that the, the Pentagon asked for this. Who specifically in the Pentagon asked for this? Uh, this is the, uh, the, 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 this is the, the, the <laughs> Department of Defense. Uh, Dude, I'm messing with you. Okay, okay. thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I, th there is a, I can't remember the. the, the yeah. Hey, I think it was uh, uh, Colonel um, Schultz. Clink. Colonel Clink. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> moving on, moving on. All right, uh, we're nearly there. House Bill 459, Representative Martin. It's hard to keep you waiting. You're around the corner. I'd have called you earlier. 
If you had a green jacket, that, I'd have seen right. it. That's right. We had to we had to adjourn House Higher Ed. Um, uh -oh, I, uh -oh, we'll get to uh -oh. 81 another time. I apologize. No, I'm a little sure. off. Thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman. House Bill 489 is, uh, simply protects Charlie Brown Airport. It's uh, the only airport it deals with. It's owned by the county, and it uh, the bill requires if a city wants to annex it that they get a resolution of approval from Fulton County. They're investing a lot of money out you. there, and it's good right. for the the state to do that. Um, I think. Blackman, you wanted me to do one for him, but sure, uh, he, he uh, well, I'll do that if he'd like. House Bill uh, 593 raises the standard deduction in Georgia. Oh, it's good for all folks. Sorry, you're in a mask. I don't I, recognize you like you used to. You got well, that flowing hair thing going. Of course, that's going to go as you get older. By the way, <laughs> you'll so, be like chucking myself and Butch and I, Dugan. Uh, we can only hope to be like you, Mr. Chairman. And Corbin, huh? We can only hope to be like yeah, you. Yeah, 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 sir. All right, it's a good bill. Thanks Thank so you. much. Yes, sir. Sorry for keep you waiting. I apologize. All right, House Bill 476, Washburn, Burn. Are you here? All right, moving on. All right, uh, House Bill 488, Skaggins. Is Skaggins here? Yeah, that's uh, is that an Irish thing? All right, uh, who's uh, okay? All right, we've heard from uh, the other two, so we'll move on. Unless you want to say anything, uh, Representative Blackman. Okay, Chairman Blackman. All right, let's pick a few. Where my list? Right, I think we ended with uh, Senator Butler and Albers yesterday. Uh, Senator Gooch. Yes, sir. Picking. How you doing? I picked uh, House Bill 292. 292. Okay. All right, Senator Harper's not here. Oh yeah, yes. How'd I miss you? Were you here a while ago? I'm sorry, you're, you're grazing. All right, go ahead. Let's go. Oh, yeah. did you bring some for all of us? All right, House Bill 362. All right, Senator Chuck Huffstetler, Georgia's room. House Bill 593. 593, the last one. Good, good measure. All right, uh, Senator Elena Parent. House Bill 114, bravo, bravo. 114. Senator Harold Jones. House Bill 488. All right, John Kennedy. House Bill 153. All righty, uh, Matt. Uh, hold it. Brass Pro Shop. Uh, AC 124. HB 124. Senator Cowsert. Well, I'll take care of my homeboy here with House Bill 374. <coughs> Dean Burt, did I miss you? I give. What was one you called for? 374. 374. Senator Burke, I apologize. Well, you gave me that look a while ago. All right, give it to me. House Bill 234. 234. All right, I'm going to call um, House Bill 271. Uh, let me count it. How many bills y'all think we need to do tomorrow, even though they're yeah, starting I to pile up? Hey, Senator Three Gibb, or four. Did you need something? Okay. What? Let's do three or four. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Uh, who did I call last? Dean Burke. Oh, I think Cal uh, Cal Senator Anderson. House Bill 161. Senator Miller. Well, everything I had circled has been picked, so I'll pick uh, 511. Uh, you know, House Bill 511. I heard that from the sky, too. It could have been something major there. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you, uh, Senator uh, Miller. Senator um, Dugan. Thank you, Mr. Chair. HB 364. 364. Senator Butler. House 
<laughs> That's funny. That's really yeah, is funny. Belton's, uh, right, is yours a compact bill? Yeah. What, what number is it? 2688. They're not all on yet. 395 is one of them. You choose whatever you like, my dear. Four ten. Well, Eddie appreciate that. All right, let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's enough, unless you have one. I just wanted to comment that I can't wait for Senator Butler to go down and deliver the bingo bill. <laughs> All right. Let's let's stop there. I've I was only told to put ten on. Where are we? Fourteen. Does anybody have anything else they gotta have? Is Senator Gooch? 336, I'll be in trouble for that. Oh, that'd be mine. Oh, huh? <laughs> okay, we'll do that. 336, that's it. All right, here we go. All right. These are the bills we're looking at for tomorrow. We'll take a vote in a minute. House bills 114, 124, 153, 161, 234, 271, 292. 336, 362, 364, 374, 410, 488, 5111, or 511, sorry. Uh, 593, just see if you were paying attention. 593. I look for a motion. Burke, uh, uh, Kennedy, any discussion? All in favor say aye. All opposed aye. say no. Have a nice day. Remember, committee meetings. I know we're going late today. Have a good day.